Think about the number of books in a household. This was a variable that's correlated with IQ. And, and, uh, it is. Yeah. Well, what, well, why? Especially if the kid never reads any of the books. It's because more intelligent people have more books in their house. <laughs> and if you're more intelligent and there's a genetic component to that, the, the child will get those genes or some of those genes as well as, as, as the environment. But it's not the number of books in the house that actually directly impacts the child. So the two scenarios on this are you find that, uh, and this was used to uh, get rid of the SAT test. Oh, the SAT score is highly correlated with the social economic status of the parents. So all you're really measuring is how rich the parents are. Okay, well, why are the parents rich? <laughs> okay. Yes. And so you could, the opposite kind of uh, syllogism is that people who are very bright make more money. They can afford homes in, in better neighborhoods so their kids get better schools. Now, the kids grow up bright. Where in that chain of events does that come from? Well, unless you have a genetically informative research design where you look at siblings that have the same biological parents and, and so on, you, you can't really disentangle all that. Most studies of social economic status and intelligence do not have a genetically informed design. So any conclusions they make about the causality of the social economic status being the cause of the IQ is, is a stretch. <laughs>